Why are fans already turning on Cody Rhodes after he finished his story and defeated Roman Reigns? Let's talk about that in today's Wrestling Ramble. Before we get into the rest of the video, don't forget to press that like button and make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Rambles with notifications on. You've probably already noticed this, but let's go ahead and point it out. It's the premise of this video. Cody Rhodes is receiving some hate online and has been turned on, so to speak, by the fans. When it comes to him being a world champion, there's a lot of comments of his promos are boring, we're already tired of this, bring back Roman, etc. But what's the reason for it? What's going on here? Why are the fans all of a sudden hating Roman Reigns? They were on his side. They were with him every step of the way for two years. He lost to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And then he comes back, wins the rematch, and now fans are turning on him right after he gets the title, finishes the story, for his deceased father that never held the title that he held officially what's going on here i'll tell you what's going on here it's online fans and it is zoomerism it is brain rot it is internet brain rot and wanting something now and wanting something exciting and not being able to be patient and not being able to wait that's what it is that is the end of it end of story i don't know what else to tell you Cody Rhodes had an incredible story and everyone was so behind him to defeat Roman Reigns and win the title that his father never won officially. And then The Rock got involved. The Rock got involved and it was going to be Rock and Roman Reigns. But the fans, 72 hours, for 72 hours, for three days straight, Cody Rhodes trended on Twitter, on X, whatever you wanna call it. That has never happened in the history of professional wrestling. Granted, X at Twitter has not been around for the entirety of the history of professional wrestling, but in the modern era, in the social media era, in the internet era, that has never happened before. That is a testament to the star power of Cody, to the amount of people, the Cody crybabies as Rock labeled them as, that voiced their concern, that voiced their displeasure, that voiced their grievances, and said, I want Cody to be in this match. I want Cody versus Roman. I want Cody to win the big one. That's what I want to see. Yet, Cody wins it, and you have people online saying, oh, his promos are boring. Oh, I'm already tired of this. Give it back to Roman. Let's go back to the bloodline. Where was that energy before? Where was that energy when the bloodline was getting stale? This is Zoomerisms or Gen Alpha-isms, whatever you want to call it. Zoomerism sounds better, just based on the name alone. Gen Alpha is not a good name for a generation. Nonetheless, it is brain rot from this digital age, from social media, from iPad babies that want what they want and they want it now. It's my money and I want it now. They want whatever they want and they want it now and they can't stand the fact that they have to wait months and months and months and months. They have been reserved to the fact, they have resigned themselves to the fact that they will have to wait months for Cody Rhodes to face The Rock or rematch Roman or lose his title to Gunter at SummerSlam, whatever it may be, and they don't want to wait. They want to see it now. They want it to be fast-paced. And guess what will happen then? If that happens, they'll say, oh, there's no one with a meaningful title reign. I wish it could be like Roman Reigns. I wish they could hold it for a thousand days like Roman did. Oh, Gunter was only champion for 200 days. Cody was only champion for 100. Oh, I don't like this. There's no pleasing these internet troll fans. How you gauge fan reactions, how you gauge Fan receptions is at the live events, is at the television tapings, is at the pay-per-views. You gauge it no other way. You can take the online reactions into account. But let's go back to Cody Rhodes for a second when it comes to him being bumped originally, initially bumped from WrestleMania 40 by The Rock, where Rock wanted to face Roman and get Cody out of that spot, even though he had just won the Royal Rumble. And he was going to have the rematch with Roman and finish his story. Fans not only react on social media, because I know that's what you're going to say. Oh, well, social media was the reason he got it. No, it wasn't. The reason he got it was that coupled with the fact that fans in attendance in the arenas that showed up to the shows reacted that way. They wanted to see 
Cody succeed. They wanted Cody to go over. They wanted Cody to win the big one. So why are they turning on him now? It's because the internet fans, the TikTok fans, the Twitter fans, the Instagram fans, the Facebook fans, the YouTube fans, etc. And this is not a shot at any fan in particular that uses a particular social media app. It is a shot at the people that think they need it and they need it now and they don't want to wait. You have been brainwashed. Your brain has been rotting because of this new digital age and i am sorry for that i hate that for you but you cannot enjoy long-term storytelling you can enjoy it when it's over you can look at roman reigns and his title run now that it's over and say wow that was really good but after Sami Zayn was gone you had to go online and tweet your displeasure facebook post your displeasure instagram post your displeasure tiktok your displeasure whatever it may be roman reigns reign is way too long i wish you would drop the title I don't want Cody to finish the story. Cody finishes the story. Oh my god, it's been two weeks. His promos are so boring. He's only going to face AJ Styles and have a five-star bangerino. Oh no. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. You wanted Cody Rhodes to win. You had an incredible story with Cody Rhodes defeating Roman Reigns in the rematch. And you have something incredible with The Rock in the oven right now, in the pipeline. Cody Rhodes will eventually face The Rock, title or not. Maybe at WrestleMania 41, maybe at SummerSlam, who knows when that will be. But you will get Cody Rhodes and The Rock, that is now the big match, and now you say, well, Cody Rhodes is boring. Cody Rhodes is an incredible wrestler, he is incredible at feeding, he is great at selling, he is a good worker, he's a decent promo, and he's got an awesome look. How can you not like this guy? Why do you have to sit there and complain about literally everything? It's insane. Stop it. I don't mean to turn this into a rant, but I don't know any other way to convey this to people that are complaining about it. I have to rant about it. How can you sit there and complain about Cody Rhodes being the champion, finishing his story for his deceased father, the legend, Dusty Rhodes, winning the world title, winning the big one, which you have been clamoring for, begging for, hoping for, praying for. For two years, he does it, and two weeks into it, you say, no thanks, I'm good. Put the belt back on Roman. You're full of it. You are absolutely full of it. If Roman retained, you would be hate-watching WWE, or you wouldn't be watching at all, and you would be complaining till the cows come home saying i can't believe roman beat cody there's no pleasing those particular fans and i'm not saying anyone watching right now are those particular fans plenty of you are not but there are those fans online that will only watch the highlights from raw on youtube or smackdown from youtube etc or watch the highlights on twitter they cannot be tamed they cannot be pleased they will complain about anything and if they don't get it now they don't ever want to get it that's how they feel and that's how i feel is that they are crybabies to the fullest extent and they can't be happy about anything cody rhodes finished his story he's going to have a decent reign and he's going to feud with the rock deal with it because it's going to be great you don't even have to deal with it in the sense that it's going to be bad it's going to be awesome what more do you want you have a big star coming back to put over an up-and-coming talent this is what you always complained about and now you're getting it and you complain more than ever to the people that complained about cody rhodes finishing his story f off go away i don't want to hear from you because if roman reigns had defeated him for the second time in a row went 2-0 against Cody beat him back-to-back -back nights with the tag team match against The Rock and then beat him in singles at night two of WrestleMania 40 you would have complained more than ever so I don't want to hear it that's all I've got I will see y'all later